Do you stream games where you often let your viewers join in and play with you? How do you keep track of the people who request to join? Would you like a way for you and your mods to manage a queue of players? Or even have a command where your viewers can enter and leave the queue on their own? I've got you covered. Let's take a look at how my player queue script works, and then I'll show you how to set it up for your own stream using StreamerBot. I was asked by one of my viewers to make a simple text-based queue that they and their mods could use to keep track of requests during a playing with viewers kind of stream. They just wanted a simple way for their mods to keep track of requests, to add new players that request to join, and also to fetch the next player when a spot opens up in the game. I said, easy peasy, and here we are. Shout out to 360 Game TV for the idea. So here we go, let's check it out. I can type exclamation add player and the user's name and add a player to the queue. I'll do that a few times to fill up the queue a bit. It should work with or without the app. You'll notice that each time I do it, chat reports that they've been added and then lists the whole queue. If the user can't be found, then it doesn't add them. And if the user is already in the queue, it won't make duplicates. Now, when a slot frees up and it's time to get the next person in line, I can type exclamation next player and it'll announce that user's turn as well as remove them from the queue and show the new order of people remaining in the queue. Easy. For the most part, that's it. But we also have some extra commands just to cover the bases. Say the wrong user got added or someone that wanted to play has to leave and you want to remove them from the queue. Use exclamation remove player and the user's name and then they're gone. Want to show the current order without adding or removing anyone? Use exclamation show players. Got two or three slots open instead of just one? Use exclamation next player two or exclamation next player three. Feeling chaotic and just want a random player instead of the next one? Use exclamation random player or exclamation random player two or three or so on. Done for the night and want to clean up the whole queue? Use exclamation clear players. Finally, if you want your users to be able to add and remove themselves from the queue, just enable the exclamation add me and exclamation remove me commands and they can't. Okay, now that we've seen what it does, how do we get this set up? For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll assume you already have StreamerBot set up and you know how to use the import function to import someone else's actions and commands. If that's not the case, go check the links in my description and find videos about StreamerBot setup and also the import export functions. And then come back here. Oh wait, all set? Okay. First, we want to go to the link in the first comment of this video and in this description. It should be a GitHub raw page with just a long string of text. This is your import code. Copy that whole thing and paste it into the import box in StreamerBot. After you press import, this should pull in one action and two commands. Each of these commands, however, actually enables multiple commands that users can type in chat. And I split them up in a way that you can set from permissions for them in a batch. Since StreamerBot version 0.1.11, all imported commands are disabled by default. So go into each of these and enable them. Just check the checkbox that says enabled. If you don't want players to be able to add and remove themselves, keep the command with add me and remove me disabled. You can also consider setting permissions on that one to VIP or moderators only. So only those types of people can add themselves. I definitely recommend setting the one with add player, remove player, next player, and such to be usable only by moderators. Once this is imported and the commands are all enabled and the permissions are set up properly, you should be good to go. One thing worth mentioning, due to the way this was coded using only one action, you can't just change the commands without a bit of extra configuration. So let's go through that. It's pretty easy. Say you want the exclamation next player command to just be exclamation next. You can do that. First, go into the command and either add exclamation next or change exclamation next player to exclamation next. I'll just add it to the list. Then go into the main action for the queue and you'll notice all these set argument sub actions. Find the one that says set argument next player command to exclamation next player and change the exclamation next player to exclamation next. You can do the same thing to change any of the other commands to whatever you want. Inside of the C sharp code, I just use these variables. That way you don't have to go into the actual code to change the commands. And that's really about it. I'm planning on updating and maintaining this module as I keep continually getting feedback. So after you press the like button down there, leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see this queue do. I'm all ears and I'm happy to make upgrades and help you fine tune your setup. For now, however, go check out this video about how to set up a bunch of other useful commands in StreamerBot.